guys okay that was a big jump but <laughs> welcome to urban home setting with keep matthias again today we are going to talk about one of the many ways we can keep that gut healthy and keep it full of probiotics <music> keep that get healthy but first before we go any further make sure to like and subscribe down below click the bell to get more updates on super simple easy ways to keep that healthy lifestyle keep that get healthy keep that immune system up and just simple lifestyle tips anyways talk about one of the many reasons we're gonna be able to keep that gut healthy now have you ever heard of kimchi or sourdough pickles or sauerkraut those are lacto fermented vegetables and they are cult which means they are culture vegetables we are just basically making a form of a lacto fermented vegetable such as or a cultured vegetable so um, traditionally they were used to preserve in the harvest and store for winter um, when they need to do that but now I have a refrigerator so we don't have to do that but the reason nowadays people do it such as myself and my family and many other people I know um, but the reason why we do it is to get a very good probiotic into our gut and to keep our gut a very good source of probiotics now you can do any type of vegetable I'm just obsessed with carrots so I'm doing all carrots <laughs> but you can do cauliflower peppers pickles um, or cucumbers, I should say, uh, carrots, um, cauliflower, broccoli, really anything you would like to do or your favorite vegetable. I just do carrots. So when I say it helps your gut, it heals your gut, it helps you keep a healthy gut with those probiotics. What I mean is we're going to get a little scientific. Okay. So basically they have, or whatever vegetable you're fermenting, or I should say a lacto fermented vegetable cultured vegetable they have it's called a beneficial microorganism and they actually when they go into your body they attach to the receptors in your gut your receptors in your gut and they attach to them and they send them a message and they say okay gut everything's okay you don't need to overreact um you know to other different foods that you want to consume so basically let's say you're dairy or gluten free because it really irritates your stomach Okay, that is because the receptors are sending signals saying to, you know, oh no, this is hurting my stomach. And some people are more tolerant than other people, but this is gonna really help your mood system. And it's gonna say, okay, gut, don't freak out. Don't overreact. Everything's okay when that we consume. So it's gonna really help with dealing with those allergies or digestion um, problems that are going on in your gut because you, to keep that healthy gut is to really help you keep that immune system up and to keep those allergies down. So your allergies or digestion issues or um, you're really dealing with a lot of those stomach problems, chances are that your gut is out of balance. And when I say gut, I mean gut. <laughs> so your gut is out of balance. And um, that is going to have to, you're going to really want to supply that gut with a daily dose of beneficial microorganisms or lacto-fermented vegetables. Basically what I'm saying is your allergies or your digestive issues might be attached to an unhealthy gut. Not for everybody. I'm not saying this is the solving solution but many people many many researchers many people have said this is a great way to keep your gut healthy if you keep your gut healthy in this way or in many other ways then you're going to live healthier you're going to um, have those probiotics in you you're going to feel a million times better I'm telling you guys so I eat maybe two I just grabbed two carrots and I, woo, sorry, two carrots and I just eat them with my dinner or my lunch 
and I think they're amazing <laughs> tasting. Some people, well, I should probably throw these ones out. <laughs> Some people um, chop up all their vegetables super tiny and then they're able to jam pack it with all different types of vegetables. And then when this is done fermenting, they can just take a scoop and it's like a nice little mixture of salad. And that's a really good idea as well. But personally, I'm not one for like green beans and green beans or cauliflower. Like I'm, I don't like, I love vegetables, but not like, like I like zucchini and squash and you don't really, I don't really ferment the zucchini and squash. Or literally, like, I do broccoli and peppers, but um, carrots are my favorite. So, <laughs> anyways, let's dive in. I'm going to show you real quick. It's super simple on how to make these lacto-fermented vegetable, culture vegetables, and how to keep that gut healthy by taking them daily. So, this is actually, it takes about four to seven days in your cool of your house. Um, I just keep it in my pantry because it's dark and cool. And um, I'll tell you a little bit more on how to do that, but that's what I do. And after seven days, it's ready. But we will talk about that when it's ready. Right now, we're just gonna make them. Okay, you guys, we are in my little like side throw all your mess in craft medicine, like family shared event room. <laughs> So basically it's an everything room. So anyways, um, that's why I have my little tiny sink and kitchen in here. Um, it's just my laundry room is behind it. Anyways, so what I did was I just peeled and cut vegetables. Well, I did all carrots today and we just stuck them in and I really packed them down in here. I'm doing three jars of them. And then I took... So for every two cups of water, you want to do one to one and a half tablespoons of sea salt. And I just dissolved it in here. Um, I just did my, I always use my coffee maker because it's easy to just tell how much I have done. So I did eight cups of water. So I did four tablespoons of sea salt. And I'm just going to honestly, that's basically all I do. Now you can season these up with different things like hot peppers and stuff like that. For me personally though, I... Just take a garlic clove and I stick one garlic clove in each one. Well, that one's tiny, so I'm going to add two. So, garlic clove, organic, organic carrots, organic garlic, gar garlic. My word, I can't speak today. These aren't organic, um, but these are whole black peppercorns. Um, I grind all my salt and pepper fresh, so this is always in my house because I just refill my pepper shakers. So it's super easy. So I'm just gonna put this in here and the garlic in this is gonna really bring that flavor. What's really good with carrots too is stick some fresh dill in there. Okay, that's kind of a lot. I probably shouldn't have done as much. But anyways, you see that? There's the pepper, the garlic, and the carrot. And I'm just gonna fill this up with some water, um, salt water. And then you're just gonna wanna make sure it's filled all the way up to leave about an inch because we're gonna stick a cabbage leaf on top to seal everything off. We're just gonna take our cabbage leaf, kind of fold it in half. Like I said, um, I did wash this, so that leaf's not good. So we'll use this one. So I'm just gonna kind of fold it in half and just, there's enough room in here for me to put it in without it overflowing. So you want everything covered with that salt water. Okay, you guys, so we are done. Simple as that. Okay, you guys, it is simple like that. Ta-da. So I have my peppercorns, my carrots, my garlic, and it is topped off with that cabbage leaf. 
um, and I do metal lids. We have done, pl I mean, I have done plastic um, lids before, like when I was living at home, me and my mom did these, I was taught, and we did plastic lids, and every time we did plastic lids, it tasted gross. So, metal lids, I say go for it. They, they say you can use plastic lids. The link down below that I'm gonna link for how to do this, a video, and like in depth if you're interested, um, that's linked below. As so that is, they say you can use plastic lids, but honestly I found out I don't really like the taste of it. You are going to stick this in a cool dark place and it's kind of like um, with the soda, gases build up and when you open it, it could explode, right? So um, you're going to want to every day just kind of release the gas, just kind of turn it and then close it back up and it's going to release the gas because if you don't do that after seven days of all those gases building up, it is going to explode on you. Um, you don't really want to shake it necessarily. You're just going to want to kind of turn it and be done. Now, I did use a lot of peppercorns. You really only need a couple tablespoons, maybe two tablespoons of peppercorns. I used a lot, but um, I kind of went overboard. <laughs> but yeah, you're just going to want to go release the gas sometimes and leave it back. Once a day, in seven days, you're just going to let them sit for about five to seven days. And I made two, and this is probably 18 carats. So this is gonna last a long time, and it doesn't go bad necessarily. Um, I am, once I open them, gonna show you guys, but I am gonna keep it in the fridge once I'm done. Like, once I open them, and I'm gonna start eating them. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Great probiotics, healthy for your gut. You're gonna keep that, keep that gut so healthy. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I hope you guys get going on your gut healing or gut healthy probiotics. And yeah.